Hi, I'm Nicole Cutler, a licensed acupuncturist and holistic health advocate. Up to three quarters of those with hepatitis C report being chronically fatigued. There is no clear-cut answer for how to get rid of this frustrating tiredness. However, it is helpful for those affected to know that there are some things you can do that will make it worse, and likewise, some steps you can take to improve your energy level. Western medicine has yet to find the reason behind the excessive fatigue associated with hepatitis C, but a relationship between the two definitely exists. Clinicians know that the following will worsen fatigue in those with hepatitis C. Drug use, alcohol use, poor sleep, stress and depression, lack of exercise, poor nutrition, and being on interferon and ribavirin therapy. Besides being a side effect of interferon and ribavirin therapy, the liver's role in energy storage is a likely cause of hepatitis C related fatigue. Understanding the liver's role in energy production helps us understand why hepatitis C often results in fatigue. One of its many physiological functions the liver is intimately involved in supplying the body with energy. Besides its well-known responsibility for filtering toxins from the blood, the liver also converts food into glucose, storing it for later use. When the body is sluggish, the liver releases that stored glucose to provide immediate energy. Because it produces, stores, and supplies the body with glucose, the liver is a key player in preventing fatigue. By releasing glucose between meals, or whenever the body's cells need nourishment, a healthy liver maintains a steady level of energy throughout the day. A liver with hepatitis C is likely to be inflamed or scarred, and thus have a reduced capacity to produce glucose and less space to store it. Certain lifestyle factors can reduce fatigue, but most people with hepatitis C must also learn how to manage their tiredness. Knowing that alcohol, drug use, poor sleep, poor dietary habits, and a highly stressful life worsens fatigue can empower those with hepatitis C to make some positive lifestyle changes. By stepping outside the confines of hepatitis C's reasons for causing tiredness, scientists have teamed up with nutritionists to develop a novel approach to battle this problem. To do this, researchers looked at how to best support the body's production of energy on a cellular level. They found that the energy-producing parts of a cell, the mitochondria, function best when their membrane is fully intact. By combining several nutritional ingredients that restore the mitochondria's membrane, these researchers developed a supplement called NT Factor. Clinical trials have shown that people with extreme fatigue had up to a 40% improvement in their energy levels after taking NT Factor for just eight weeks. While taking a supplement to improve energy levels should always be discussed with the physician first, this approach has helped many exhausted hepatitis C sufferers. In addition to avoiding things that make fatigue worse, taking NT Factor and engaging in a healthful lifestyle, balancing daily activities help many manage their fatigue. The following suggestions can help those with hepatitis C better deal with low energy levels. The first is to prioritize your day. Avoid overloading your day with too busy a schedule. The second is to time your tasks wisely. Work at the time of the day when you feel your best. Arrange to do things that require the most energy then. The third is to conserve your energy. When possible, conserve your energy by sitting down to perform activities you typically do while standing. The fourth is to perform in spurts. Rather than trying to go non-stop, rest or do a lighter, easier activity when fatigued. You will regain more energy from this sort of break. The fifth is to pace yourself. Make sure to include regular breaks in your day so you don't burn out. 
The sixth is to eat small meals. Prevent food coma by passing on large heavy meals in favor of smaller, more frequent ones. The seventh is to take warm showers. Since hot temperatures can be especially draining, take warm showers instead. And the eighth is to have a bedtime plan. Establish a routine at night to wind down and prepare your body for sleep. If you have hepatitis C and are fatigued, you are not alone. Fortunately, there are options to help minimize this symptom. Many with hepatitis C reclaim their energy by supporting their liver and immune system through healthful lifestyle changes, supplementing with NT factor, and consciously balancing their daily activities. If you choose to strengthen your cell's mitochondrial membranes, make sure to discuss supplements that contain NT factor with your physician first. By combining these three approaches, many people with hepatitis C are able to significantly reduce their degree of fatigue.